Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to talk about percent. I know sometimes students have a hard time with percent. For some reason they just struggle with the concept of it, right? But it's really simple and hopefully I can make you see how simple it is. So a percent is just a part of the whole. For example, x out of 1. If the whole is 1 or 100, whatever it is. Okay, and we can have percents written two ways, like this, 39% with that percent symbol, or in a decimal form, right? Those are equivalent. 39% equals 0 0.39. And when you find percent, you use a fraction like this. And it's always the part on the top and the whole on the bottom. So let's look at an example. Let's say you are a basketball player and you take 45 shots during the game and you make 25. So this is shots taken and 25 shots made. And then you're trying to figure out at the end, well, what was my percent? What percent of shots did I make? Right, so you're gonna use this fraction, part over the whole. So 25 is the part, 45 is the whole, because 45 is the total shots taken. So you have 45 on the bottom and 25 on top, and then you just divide. 25 divided by 45 which gives you 0 0.555 repeated. So you look at this and it doesn't really look like a percent, right? That's because we have to times it by 100. So you divide, then you times by 100. So this number times 100 is 55.6% approximately after we round. So this is your shot percentage for that basketball game. Let's look at one more quick example. Let's say that you attend school uh, 175 days out of the year. And we want to know what percent you are not in school. So out of the whole year, what percent are you not in school? Uh, we know that the whole is 365, right? Because that's the total days in a year. So we could figure out the percent attended. You say, well, I attended for 175 days out of 365. Set this up times 100 will give us our percent, 47.9%. But then we want to know what percent you're not in school. Well, you can take this number and say, 47.9% minus the whole of 100% for all the days of the year. Sorry, I did that backwards. I did that backwards. So 100% minus 47.9, right? And this gives you the remainder of 52.1%. So that's the percent of days that you were not in school. Hopefully that made sense and you understand percent a little better now. Let me know if you have any questions, throw them in the comments, and we'll see you next time.